Good, happy Friday morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. House postpones vote on Affordable Care Act replacement. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9, Josh McKelvin. The Nashua Hyundai Spring Cleaning Sales Event. Out with the old, then in with the new. Save thousands on new 2017 Hyundai Elantras for only $99 a month. Nashua Hyundai is the better choice with our low price guarantee on over 250 vehicles. The New Hampshire delegation reacting tonight to the decision to delay the vote, Congresswoman Annie Custer says she'll vote no and that the bill still needs work. What it goes to show is that this Republican plan was rushed through. We didn't get a chance to properly um, hear it in committees. Look, we've got people losing their health care across the board. Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter telling News 9 tonight that the people of New Hampshire are expressing that they do not want the bill. Okay, and there you go on that report. And we want to hear from you. Let us know what you think. Do you want this bill or no? Comment below and let me know. Good Samaritan pulls person from burning pickup truck. Let's take a listen to this video from WCVB Boston. <laughs> It's the store-wide patio furniture event sale at Seasonal Specialty Stores. Now through Sunday, get the lowest prices of the season on all in-stock and special order patio furniture. Buy early, save big. Visit Seasonal Specialty Stores in Natick, Foxborough, or at SeasonalSpecialtyStores.com. I was pounding. <laughs> in truth, it still was when we talked to Sean Hibbert. It was right in front of our faces, so we had to do something. About what should have been another normal day on the job, removing snow at the Lincoln Plaza in Worcester. I heard a, a bang or whatever, but I didn't really think much of it because of all the other noises going on. I saw some crazy bellowing smoke from probably 80 feet away. As I walked around, there was another guy that came out of a pickup truck, and he asked me if I could help him. Scary, very scary. Yep, yep. Uh, when I saw the flames going up and the, the man in the vehicle was, you know, incoherent. Within seconds, I knew that truck was going right up in flames and, and the fire department was not there yet. Police say the driver of the pickup had a medical emergency, which caused him to lose control and plow into fencing material, a fire hydrant, and a guardrail behind the lows. At first, Hibbard tried to move the debris. I was trying to wrap it around it. But then remembered he had a fire extinguisher. He, you know, did a couple arm sweep, sweeps with the extinguisher and put it out. By then, firefighters and police had arrived and along with a good Samaritan, got the victim out. Right place, right time, I think, for that gentleman because uh, without the fire, like I said, the fire extinguisher was a, a savior for him. Tonight, police tell us that 51-year-old victim is in critical condition at an area hospital. Where Okay, and there you go on that report. Lewiston father to be sentenced for baby's son's death. A Lewiston man charged with manslaughter in the death of his three-month-old son appeared in court Friday morning. Investigators said the three-month-old Zaid Adams was found unresponsive in a best sent in December of 2014. The medical examiner's office later determined his Death was due to apsigalakia. Danny Adams, the fa the baby's father, admitted to police that he put a pacifier in Zadia's mouth and the child spit it out. In court paperwork, Adams also admitted accusing bruising on the child's ear and around the mouth that was caused when he held the pacifier in the baby's mouth. He also said 
he used heroin and marijuana the night before the baby died. The sentencing is scheduled for Friday morning at Andescoggin County Superior Court. Washington is now officially holding the stock market hostage. Markets are entering a new era when they could be held hostage by Washington's whims. Health care bill vote set for Friday as Trump draws line in the sand. The Republican plan to repel and replace Obamacare, a central promise of GOP leadership, is set for a showdown Friday as President Donald Trump issued an ultimate demanding that the House of Representatives move forward. And that did it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday. See you back here later on today. Bye, everyone.